Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you the Spitfire Labs free virtual instrument plugin in Reaper. Now, the Spitfire Labs plugin will allow us to create many different instruments using just their plugin. Of course, we could use it with others as well. And again, it's free and available for both Windows and Mac. So let's go to their website. And we'll click on the web section. And we can see that this is the free area of their products. And we can go over here and download it for Mac or for Windows. And that will download the Spitfire Audio application. And when we open that application, it looks like this. And down over here, we can see all the libraries we can install for each of our instrument types. And there's a whole bunch, and they're added all the time. We can just choose the ones we want and download those or install all of them, which is what I did. Once everything is downloaded, we can quit this application and open Reaper. Now to create a new track, instead of double clicking over here and putting this track into record, setting up the MIDI input and adding our effects manually, I'm gonna use a shortcut or a feature instead. Let's delete this and just right click over here and choose insert virtual instrument on new track. Choose this. And then Reaper's gonna open up the effects browser. Let's go to instruments and find labs, Spitfire audio. Double click it. And not only does it create a new track, but it adds the effect to it, puts the track in record and sets the input to MIDI. So it's a great time saver for adding virtual instrument plugins to new tracks. And here's what the plugin looks like. It defaults to soft piano, which sounds like this. And we can adjust the volume of this preset right here, the velocity sensitivity over here, and also adjust the reverb right here. More reverb. or less. But let's take a look at the presets. And to change our presets, just click over here, and we can see them all over here. And they're divided by the different instruments we downloaded. Trumpet fields, lecture piano, choir, and so on. But to find sounds quicker, we can choose categories over here. So if I choose piano, we're just gonna see piano presets over here. Like that soft piano or electric piano. Or Wurlitzer. If we wanted to find drums, we could choose it here. or keys. Or synth or guitar. Now a nice other trick to find your favorite sounds is to use the starred feature. So if we choose the piano, let's say I like the soft piano, just star it right here. Let's say I like these drums. Star those, and a synth, this one. Now we can clear these categories. Just choose the starred ones, and just those presets show up over here. So you can always see just our favorite ones by choosing the starred category. But rather than going through each preset, let's create a piece of music using a few of my favorites, just to give you an idea of what this plugin can do. Let's start off with drums. Choose the preset here. Let's create a drum part. Let's make the drums have more reverb by bringing this up. Let's hear it now.
Let's hit it with more. Or none. Let's use a bit right about here. And let's record a drum part by looping in Reaper. Let's close this. Let's set up a loop area from bar two to bar four, which is going to create a two bar loop. Make sure looping is turned on. Let's rename the track drums. Let's also change the recording mode right here to record MIDI, record MIDI overdub. What that's going to do is going to allow us to record in multiple passes without deleting the previous pass. So we could layer each performance. Choose this. Let's also quantize on the way in to make our performance perfect. Right click over here and choose track recording settings, input quantize, and then we'll turn on quantize track mini recording. And let's set this to 16th notes. And now our performance is going to quantize on the way in. So we don't have to fix it later. Let's turn on a metronome right over here. Right click it. Make sure it's on. Turn it off for playback. Turn off the count in for playback. And change the count in measures to one. Which will give us one bar of counting before we record. And down over here, once again, is my USB MIDI keyboard. So you can see what I'm playing as you record. So let's record a drum part. And now without stopping our recording, I could add in another pass of hi-hat. And just like that, we have our first drum part. So let's add another instrument to this. And rather than starting over each time, let's duplicate this track, delete the MIDI, take this track out of record, let's rename this piano, and we'll add a piano sound to this. And because we duplicated it, our recording mode is already set up for record MIDI overdub, and quantizing on the way in. So we just have to change our preset. And now let's choose a piano preset. I'm kind of liking this one. So let's give it a shot. Now I want to layer the piano with a pad. And we could do that all on the same track. We could see over here our effects chain. Copy this one and paste it. And now we have two plugins on this track. Let's open this one by double clicking it. And now we could layer this one with the first one. Let's choose a synth. Let's check out this one. It's a bit too loud. Let's bring down the volume of the pad right here. Now we're just hearing the piano. Let's slow it and bring up this synth and find a nice blend. Just a bit to create a blend. So now let's hear it with the drums. Sounding good. So let's add a few more instruments. And once again, we'll duplicate this track. Let's name this pad. Let's delete this MIDI. And we'll change the preset on this plugin. And this time we'll choose another synth. But this one over here, Arsene. 
Now we'll notice with these plugins, we can change our parameters up here by choosing which parameter we want to adjust. Our variation, which is how stereo the sound is, the reverb, the attack. Let's give this pad more attack, bring down the volume a bit. Let's hear it. Let's record that part on top. We can blend it in by adjusting the volume right here. So as you can tell, it's very easy to layer this plugin with different instruments on top of each other. Let's add a few more sounds. Let's name this guitar. We'll choose guitar. Let's check out the moon guitar right here. Sounds like this. And let's pan it to the right, right over here. Let's give it some more reverb right here. To wash it out a bit more. Let's record the guitar part. Let's duplicate it again. And this time we'll add some strings. And we'll choose strings. Now I want to use a short sound. Let's choose this one. Let's hear it. It's a bit too dry. So let's bring up some reverb right here. Just like that, we created a part based on looping recording, using all the sounds just from this one plugin. So as you can tell, it comes with a whole bunch of sounds. And once again, they're all free for Mac and PC. So that's pretty much it. That's the Spitfire Labs free virtual instrument plugin in Reaper. Hope you learned something. Hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.